Hey there friends and welcome back to Strange Rebel Gaming, I'm Brianna. Today we're going to be returning to an old favorite, Final Fantasy XV. I know it's been 5 million years since I played this, but it's one of those games that even though I haven't played it in a really long time and it would be so easy for me to just forget about it, um, something keeps bringing me back. Maybe it's your guys' requesting it, which you definitely are doing, and I want to respect that. But maybe it's just, you know, I was watching some of my old playthroughs, and there's something about whatever's going on. I think the emotional connection I have to Luna... <clears throat> Clearly, uh, the emotional connection I have to Luna and whatever happened with Prompto and this Arden character is very mysterious. Um, and then, of course, you know, I love Gladio and uh, it really is just a genuinely fun game to play. And I have a lot of fun with it, so I can't just not finish it. You know, there's something about it that keeps bringing me back no matter how long it takes me to finish it. So in order to uh, kind of adjust that. I have decided that this week I'm going to be live streaming it for as long as it takes to finish it and I'm not going to be playing another game until I finish this one. So that's the plan, we'll see how it goes. <clears throat> Take a second before I begin to hit the like button as I give a huge shout out to Elias, our patron of the day. Thank you so much for becoming a patron, it has been a pleasure having you as a part of the community, it's been a pleasure getting to know you in the Discord and I hope you're enjoying your time as an SRG PC member. Alright, and now... Let's get on to the gameplay video. Enjoy! Alright, so here are our friends, Biggs and Wedge. Hey, thanks for the lift. We're happy to help. Can't say the climate will be as cooperative though, you know? Right, especially the gorge. The place is freezing. Makes sense what with the ice goddess's cold corpse lying around. It's a rather long ride, so I suggest you bundle up before we ship out. By the way, I bumped into a woman from the manor. Used to serve house floor A. Must have gone off looking for you. Said she had something important to discuss. With me? Guess I ought to find her then. Guess I ought to find her then. What do you want? So, you've cut your ties with the Empire? Yeah. The only way we could help the people was by leaving the army. Lady A would about had it with them, as it were. Lady A? Aranea, the Commodore. Ah. Nothing but demons in the capital. Meanwhile, the Crystal's just sitting there. No one in the army signed up for this. What about the civilians? Hold up in their homes. They're either lying quiet behind closed doors or lying dead. Your guess is as good as mine. Okay. We'll be waiting on board. Give us a holler when you're ready to shove off. All right. Are we? Yeah. The chancellor is running some circus. So I gotta be honest. I don't really remember like. Why we got on the train? Because we were just kind of like, I, I I remember watching my playthrough and being like, okay, this is important information. It was when Ignis was explaining where we were headed, but I guess I'll just have to figure it out as we go. <laughs> That's the thing about not playing a game for eight months. You are not gonna talk, are you? Oh, this lady. Oh, look at all the flowers around. Those are My Luna's word. flowers. Is that you, Prince Noctis? I, uh, yeah. Have we... Oh, blessed be the stars. Just look at what a fine young man you've grown into. I am Maria, a retainer in service to House Flore. I doubt you'll remember me after these long years. I, um... Can't say I do. Don't worry, who I am is of little import in light of what I wish to discuss. Lady Luna Freya risked everything to spirit the Ring of the Lucii away from the Citadel. Did she deliver it to you? Yeah. 
Stars above. My fears have been assuaged. Lord Ravis too will be overjoyed to hear this news. Ravis too. Oh boy. It's about to get emotional. to fail me no I cannot accept it <sighs> by your hand it must be done to deliver the ring and inspire the king is your calling you mustn't fall but I lack the strength to go on Find it, Luna Freya. You have the will. Go to Noctis. Show him the truth of your heart. I understand you will go hence to the Imperial Capital. Yeah. Lord Ravis has King Regis's glaive in his safekeeping, and it was his wish to return it to you, my prince. Though I imagine it will not be easy for you to find each other. I'll get it from him somehow. I pray it shall be so. All right, so that has been accomplished. Good job, us. Do we need to refill on our fire? No, we're full. Good job, us. Ooh, shiny thing. You know what I like to do? Take sky gemstone. Well, I know what to do with that. I don't, I'm bluffing. Totally bluffing. All right, I guess let's return to that train. Any other takes? Anyone else? No, okay. I, do I talk to you? No, oh yeah, I could, but I don't think I need to, the but crystal. I could. Remember how I said it was locked away? Uh, yeah. They really don't allow anyone near the thing. The Emperor himself never got close to it. The lab rats had a theory that the crystal posed some kind of threat to the demons. The way they see it? That's the reason the Chancellor had the Emperor go after it in the first place. Hmm. Dunno, but that theory holds water in my book. Then I think we need a crystal for ourselves so that we can, you know, defeat the demons and all that jazz. A shop? Right here? You, sir? Oh, look at that. You are a shop. But I'm broke. I'm not broke. I thought I was broke. I should be broke. Look at all the stuff I have. Wow. What do we want? What do we want? What do we want? Oh, we don't have enough ether for sure. We need lots of that. Gonna be a lot, but I think we want it anyway. I'm sure I was saving up for something, but now I can't remember, so what does it matter? 
Man, the potion system in this game is confusing too. I remember how much trouble I had with it at first. You have to really read the description of everything. It doesn't just like, it replenishes your HP. It's like, Final Fantasy XIV is the same way. It's like, replenishes 16% of your HP, maximum of 1,000. And you're like, okay, so which is, which is more? I gotta do math in order to take a healing potion? Come on, Final Fantasy. Not about it. An arms vendor. Oh, I'll buy some stuff. Uh, well, look at me. I've already bought all this stuff. Good job. And we don't even want any of that. Ooh, I do like the idea of enhances spirit. Because I believe that that's your magic damage. I do tend to use a lot of magic, but that would cut our gills in half. So I say we don't do that. Reboard that train with our friend Biggs and our friend Wedge. They are our friends, Biggs and Wedge. Oh, Prince there's Noctis. a child. Yeah? Prince Noctis, were, were you excited to marry Lady Luna Freya? Because she was really excited to marry you. She looked so happy the day her dress arrived. She really loved you, Prince Noctis. I... <sighs> Thank you. Why would she just come out of the woodwork with that? At first, Who is this girl? The father had mourned the fate of his chosen son. Yet in Tenebrae, the two found solace. It was not the Oracle who assuaged their fears. But the girl, she holds the true power. I have little to offer a king other than the voice afforded the Oracle. Nevertheless, and I'm afraid you might find this foolish. But to be together with Noctis again, even if only for a short while, it would mean the world to me. I do not seek to guide him, merely to stand beside him. She was burdening you with the wedding. That's not true, is it? No, not at all. <sighs> Who is this girl? How does she know? Like, I don't want to talk to you anymore, but I have, like... Luna Freya was lucky to find a nice guy like you. Just Thanks. girl. Just plot device. Or just dialogue? I don't know. I mean, that scene was... Was heartbreaking. But it did it have to be introduced like that? Will we ever see the dawn again? It's just... It's like they were like, here's a sad thing. Now let us twist the knife. And I'm like, yes. The knife has been twisted. It hurts. Oh, I don't want to read that. How in the world could something like this happen? Perhaps this is the way it ends. I listened to Lady Lunafreya's address on the radio. To think she gave that speech in the very place she was supposed to be wed. I can only imagine how she must have felt. So it sounds to me, based on that cutscene, that she was kind of like... dying already? Not, not the wedding dress cutscene, but the one 
before that, I'm just remembering, she said something about like, my flesh is not strong enough, but that was before she got stabbed. So that means she was dying anyway. Is that a thing that happens to oracles? And then she was saying like, I wanted to be wed to him just to be close to him, even for just a short time. Do oracles just die young? Or do they like serve their purpose and then they die? Cause that's awfully tragic. I don't know. I don't know if this ever really gets explained. Oh, Ignis. Is the mana badly damaged? It's seen better days. So have the civilians. They've been through a lot. And the Chancellor's the one who put them through it. Put us through a hell of a lot, too. He never gets in our way. But he sure loves messing with us. Well, there's a good chance he got his hands on Prompto. Just hope he doesn't mess with him too bad. Yeah, we gotta get Prompto back. That one is pretty heartbreaking. Prompto is like just a baby. He's just a goofy baby. Can't let anything bad happen to Prompto. Take heart. Everything will be all right. We'll see what good it does me to come. The Empire has declared Lord Ravis a traitor and sentenced him to death. I believe the attack on the manor was further punishment. Okay, so it looks like Lord Ravis was an agent of the Empire, and then didn't take the ring. and then was labeled a traitor. Does that sound right? Like, could have killed Luna when I had the chance, but didn't? Does that sound right? This plot is so confusing. But I'm along for the ride. I don't mind. Ready to depart. Just swapped out the damage cards for some new ones. Give one of us a holler when you're ready to shove off, then. Dining car's open, if you need a break. I don't think there's anything else to do except, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead with it. You know what? We're just gonna go That's ahead. We we're not gonna get distracted. Day. We're just gonna do it. Climb aboard. Don't worry about the civilians. They're in my good hands. Can't say the same for you. Watch yourselves in the capital. We will. <laughs> Thanks, Arnea. We'll see you around. It's... snowing. Get your ass on board! Yes, sir. Look at all that snow. No wonder it's so cold in here. We must be approaching the Glacian's cadaver. Won't be a blessing if all we got's a body. Let us hope we pass through the gorge without incident. It's what's after the gorge I'm worried about. Noctis is free to roam about the train until it arrives. Why? Once Why? We get us, we're there. We've come quite a long way. Just to look for more shiny things. Can't even go in any of these rooms. Keep looking for more things for the takey taken. I wonder if it's waiting for us to stumble upon something.
Uh, I would read that out loud to you, but I didn't find it very interesting. Uh, we're going this way. Okay. Oh, see, we can't go any farther. All right. Is this a sneaky loading screen? Is that why they just let you roam about the train? They just give you a very sneaky, boring loading screen? Oh, that would be dark. Like, what would actually happen if, like, someone was... When it's always dark out. Still dark. Seems there's scarcely anything left of day. Yeah. It's all gone wrong. It's how darkness works, Ignis. Interesting. You could just choose not to explore the train. I have ex I have found nothing interesting about this train, but because it's here to explore, you bet your bottom dollar I can't help myself, and my OCD means I have to do this. Take! Look, we got one mega phoenix. Look at this! What else did we get? We got a debased banknote. What else? Hi, Elixir! All right, what else? Rusted bit! All right, maybe it was worth it. Look at all this stuff's for the Taken. Electrolytic condenser? All right! A Gralian Medal of Distinction? Wow! What else? That's it. All right. Well, I'm glad we did it. You know, I don't know what I'm going to use any of those things for, but really glad we did it. How could this be? Be prompto. Be prompto. Hey, what's up? Okay, thanks for letting us know. What? Complete, I guess. Wow, our train has completely frozen. That's not good. That can't be good, and we're stopping. That can't be good at all. I oh, wonder no. what it could be this time. Attention now. Yeah. What's wrong? You may have noticed we stopped as for the course. Outside the fix. We'll take a look. Oh, no. Uh, it's just a quick snow shoveling job. Indeed. You're gonna need like eight more layers. You're gonna need some parkas. You're gonna need some snow boots. Let me tell you, it's cold out there. Shiva means business. Oh nope, you're just gonna shiver. It's freezing. Okay. You better keep moving to stay warm. The Glacian did this. I think I can see her. It's a shame. She's lying dead. Damn, it's cold. Let's clean up out here. Warm up in there. Better I don't remember sound. how to play. Ah, oh, that's right. You just hold B. Okay, that's right. All right, I can do this. Yeah, yeah. Get it. Get it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I warped up here. What are you going to do about it? Kill some of these little guys. Ooh, ouch. I definitely should be locking on here. Yeah, what am I gonna lock on to? How do I do that again? There we go. Let's make you my target forever. My forever target. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I've been smashed across the map. Gosh, I forget how fun this is. It's so... F what are you doing alive? Gladius, use your cyclone. 
Here we go. Not on that guy. That guy was almost dead already. Why am I using magic? I pressed the wrong button. Yeah, I did forget how incredibly rewarding this game is to play. It's it's such fun combat. I don't know what this does again. Oh! But I like it. Oh, whatever weapon I'm using is not good against this guy because it's orange. We want it to be, oh wait, do we want it? What color do we want it? Wait, my health! Wait, my health! I forgot how to take a thing! Ah! <laughs> uh, I forgot how to take an item. Quick, quick, take an item. Um. A potion? Is it this button? No, is it? That's the button. There we go. All right. Okay, I like it. I like it. Okay, you're almost done. Watch yourself. None of my weapons are going the way I want them to. So we're gonna go back to this guy because I feel like I like him. Why would you do that instead of doing what I asked you to do? Why aren't you? Warping to this guy. Now look what you've done. Where's my weapon? All of a sudden, I forgot how to play in the middle of this. Am I not supposed to hold lock on? Is that what I'm doing wrong? Guess not. I guess not holding lock on would help. Alright, look what we got. And Gladiolus picked up an elixir. Ignis almost died. We did it. No! None of that, please! No, not a death claw! Woo! Woo! Alright, watch out for that then. Yeah, how do I lock? Woo! All right. Ow. Yeah, maybe give Ignis a potion, because I don't want him to die. Yeah. Maybe have Noctis take an elixir. Eh, a potion for now would be good for Noctis, I think. All right. Now back to this weapon. I get out of the way of that. Gladio. Here we go. Yeah, Gladio, use that guy. Stun him? Out of the way, get out of the way! He's gonna use a thing! Yeah. You can get Ignis and Gladio, but not me. Maybe me now. One more, and go. What does Ignis' thing do again? I know it says up here. It says right here in skill. No, that's not it. Uh, gear? Yeah, because you equip his technique. Scan for enemies' weaknesses and exploit it with an elemental attack. Depletes tech bar by one. Yeah, I like it. Gladiolus, what are you working with? Cyclone does a stun, right? Shield shockwave. All right. 
All right, I, I, I'm, I'm happy with this for right now. I still don't really know what I'm doing anymore, but... Ah, knocked us, take a potion! At this point, you can use an elixir, because... You gotta restore that maximum HP. Woo! Narrowly avoided. Ouch. Oh yeah, you can just hold X to block. Ooh, ow. That was a painful one. Oh, bad timing. Not good timing. Yeah, Cyclone that death claw. Get ready for pain. Yeah, get ready for it. Yeah, not get ready to finish it. Try not to get spun around. Uh, hello. Sometimes I must be locking on wrong. I got it. I got it. You're done. You're done, sir. You're dead. Ain't got time to waste. That's Think right. That. Killed it so dead. Hey, knocked. What's up? You better get in here. Something's not right. Oh, Come of on. course, something's right. wrong. No way. That better not be. You oh, let's it. not. Let's not do this. Oh, Son no. That was definitely Arden's cape. You know what that means. He's probably done another stitch in time, and now he's pretending to be Gladio, and we're going to push Gladio off the train. Oh, man. I can't go through it again. My heart can't take it. I need Prompto back. your friends they've fallen and they can't get up why not lend them a hand a coldness that can only be hers I'm telling you, that is my worst nightmare. Being so cold, you just freeze to death. Worst nightmare right there. Ah, the face you wore the day. Let it now be done. As promised to the Oracle. Kitiana, it's you. You're the Glacian. Tales of the past and hopes for the future are manifest in the King of Kings. The Frostbearer's blessing shall be his. Safeguarded this star since time immemorial. Each of a different mind, but united by this common purpose. The gods' protection extends to all creatures here below, even to the mortals created in their image. They are feeble creatures leading fragile lives and clinging to foolish fancies. 
The Frostbearer scorns these visions of hope, which melt like snow in the sun's light. Yet the Pyreburner admires their strength of will. For their reverence, he grants unto them his flame, and the world of man flourishes. His benevolence warms the frozen heart of the Frostbearer. The mortals have earned her respect, he, her love and admiration. It is not long, however, before some among those men ascend to new heights of hubris. The people of Solheim spurn the gods who bless them, the gods they once worshipped. The ungrateful mortals incur the wrath of the Pyreburner. He seeks to raise the very civilization his flames once helped build. But the Six are sworn to defend the star and all her inhabitants from harm, and, at times, from one another. The flames of war surge as Solheim fends off the Pyreburner's fire. The gods' pleas for peace fall on deaf ears, and the battle rages on. When the smoke clears, the world of man is in ruins, their star left scarred for time eternal. Wearied from war, the Six seek solace in slumber. This tale of our shared past is entrusted to the King of Kings. That he may see it to its conclusion. I kind of like in it. Days that follow the war, while the Six are still asleep. The Pyreburner is sought by a man who draws him away from the light. His peril is sensed by the Frostbearer. She rushes to his aid, only to be felled by the foreign hordes. Those masses are now one with the darkness. Darkness that before long will swallow the Six and the star they protect. This star's fate no longer rests in the hands of the gods. It sits on the shoulders of the Chosen. Deliver this world from darkness and grant my love release. I promise I will. The Oracle is no longer of this world, but her thoughts remain, and they must be known. When the Baby boy Noctis. begins his existence on this star, the girl is met by the High Messenger. It is ordained that she will work with him to return the light. The girl reaffirms that promise. The High Messenger is moved by the girl's determination, her heart warmed by the girl's benevolence. Her faith in mankind is restored once more. Sister, cease this madness. That boy will never be king. Noctis is chosen. It is ordained. You of all people should know. I know that you are throwing your life away. That may be. But it's my choice. If only... <laughs> If only I could hear his voice once more. If we could laugh together as we did as children. If we could live out our days together as we once dreamed. Wherefore does the lady weep? Forgive me. I vowed to only cry where prying eyes cannot see the tears in mine. Yet others need not hide their grief. Is she so different from them? No. She is no different at all. She wants exactly what they do. To be with the one she loves. But won't though she may. It is not to be. The lady's thoughts have been hurt. The love she bears the king shall never fade. And, in time, her feelings shall be known unto him. Gentiana. 
And if the words are not spoken from her lips, then the messengers shall see that they are heard. The God's favor and the Lady's love shall be with him evermore. Thus it is promised between the Oracle and her familiar. I am undeserving of your kindness. Thank you. And so the promise is fulfilled. As her words go with him, so shall my blessing. King of Kings, restore the light unto this world. Farewell, dear Noctis. I'm sorry I couldn't be there for you. Not even when you needed me most. There was so much you wanted to say. So much I wanted to say. And now, I never had the chance. I'm so sorry. you down. I know you won't. Luna. You and I will be together again someday. I promise. <laughs> Dang. It is so cruel when two people who love each other can't be together. It is so cruel. Feels packed. All of the feels have been packed into that moment. Gentiana being Shiva was surprising. Uh... I really liked the story of the past. I felt like it was close enough to many stories that we've heard of the gods, the gods before. But I also felt like it was uniquely its own thing, which I liked. And I like that it was simple and easy to follow. Unlike most of this story. <laughs> um... So we're going to see what's going on with Arden now, I guess. <laughs> what are you looking at? Man, I hope that wasn't Gladio. Hey. Wake up. Now what happened? No. Uh -huh. Are you all right? Yeah. I saw the glacier. It's okay. She's gone now. You guys check out our drivers. Got it. You good? Yes, I'm fine. Let's go.
<laughs> Again, this guy? He's so annoying. I feel I've earned the right to call you not. <laughs> For a moment, I felt death's chill wind. Such is the might of the gods. But then I remembered I'm immortal. Such is my blessing and curse. Your attack hurt me, nevertheless. My feelings, at least. And after all the memories we've shared, remember this. Ah, I should have asked if you remember him. Truly a blast from the past. Nay. Ah, ah, ah. You mustn't take what's not yours. Where is he? He? <laughs> the little gunman's a short shot away. Where? Where else but Gralia, the seat of the Empire? I'm sure he'll be delighted to see you. You gotta and save you him. You might even find your crystal. With all these demons about, you could certainly use it. <laughs> Off you go then. I wouldn't want to keep you from your friend. <laughs> what was that? Was that a bomb? What was that? I have concerns. I have questions. <laughs> you watched a cutscene. Here's some experience. End of chapter. All right. Uh, chapter 13, Redemption. Having stolen Noctis's county, country, having stolen Noctis's country, Crystal, and cherished companions, Arden waits implacably, 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 in Gralia. We should be drawing close to Gralia. Yeah. I can't imagine what it'll be like. Swarming with demons, but you knew that. Huh. Don't remind me. Once we arrive, we'll make for the keep. The keep? Zagnortus, an imperial megafortress said to be impregnable. With Prompto and the crystal inside it. What goes in must come out. So, are we buying the story that the crystal can purge demons? The proof is in the purging, but it does stand to reason. We've observed that as the nights have grown longer, the demon hordes have grown stronger. If they are in fact averse to the crystal's light, it could save not only Lucis, but the world. <laughs> we'll find out once we take it back. If... If we take it back. The hell? What is it? My guess. Something to sidetrack us. That is not surprising at all. Because how dare we actually get where we're trying to go. This is now our, like, 86th train disturbance. Oh, dang! Uh, what now? Whoa, whoa. Let's get to work. What's wrong? Uh, weapons. They're get stuck. Back. Run! Run? What about my weapons? Whoop. Arden has stripped Noctis. How does he keep doing this? Flee to the freight car at the back of the train. The ability to call Umbra is also unavailable. I didn't even know you could do that. Maybe I did and I forgot. It's been such a long time since I played this game. Okay, I guess I can't do magic either. Here we go. Ah, ah, which way am I supposed to go? Head to the freight car, this direction, excuse me. Excuse me. Jump, jump, roll, dodge. Moving on. Here we go. Running. Only a of time before we run out of room to run. Well, come on, Ignis, you first, you're blind. For the regalia. Come on, on my way. Knocked. The freight car! Keep moving! 
Here I go, here I go. Good thing I already took all the stuff there was to take, or I would be taking stuff right now. I'd be running and dodging, and it'd be like, take, take, take! Everybody in! Yeah. Got it. Safety first! Put on your seatbelts before we get mauled by demons. Of course. Threat upgraded. Activating level four security oh boy. measures. Sealing all gates. The city's defense system has begun sealing all entrances. Make it to Gra make it into Gralia before the gate closes. Okay. Put the pedal to the metal. That's as That's metal as it gets. Don't crash. Thanks Don't crash. Time. You sure? I kind of like crashing. Now. Inside a tunnel. On the train tracks. Don't slow down. We're I won't. Go as fast as I can. Hang on. We're gonna bump into stuff. Oh man. So far it's been pretty tame. I have a feeling it does not stay this tame. Why do I get that feeling, friends? Barely see where I'm going at all. Throw us off the tracks. Woo! Woo! One clean hit and it's over. Well, it'll take a bit more than that to stop His Majesty's trusty steed. Really? This car can get straight missiled and it would still be fine. It can take the punishment. Just focus on your drive. It's a convertible. Closing. Floor it. I'm flooring it. Did I make it? She makes it. Let's call me Brianna first try. But that regalia is wrecked. That's all she's got. Yeah, It'll that's the end on. of the line for our friend regalia. I should have a funeral for her. We should all have a moment of silence for our dear Regalia. R.I.P. You know what this death is like? This death is like when in Harry Potter, this it's been long enough that, that I can spoil this. It's like in Harry Potter when Hedwig dies, and you're like, Can't, it's not important to the plot, but screw you. Dad. Thanks for everything. Oh. Are we seriously marching into the capital empty-handed? And with no assurances, the crystal can beat back the demon hordes. Guess we'll find out the hard way. No turning back now, right? <laughs> find the entrance to the keep. All right. This thing could come down at any time. Let's be quick. Come on, this way. Well, oh, I wanted some takey takes. Looks like there's one right here. Ah! No! No! Angus, Why me? Man! Oh! Who will you follow? Noctis, difficulty normal. Gladiolus and Ignis, difficulty easy. Well. Well, I do think it would be interesting to see what Gladiolus and Ignis do, and I love the idea of a split narrative. I can see why it took them 15 years to make this game, or longer. Uh, I think I'm going to follow Noctis, because I sort of feel like by making Gladiolus and Ignis difficulty easy, they sort of want you to follow Noctis. Like, I play everything on normal, so for me, the idea of playing something easy is like... Come on, at least give me a little bit of a challenge, right? Like, 
I don't want it to be too easy. So... <laughs> it's like, are you sure? You made the wrong choice. But I'm sure. Chapter 13, verse 2 is now available. Access by switching to gladiolus at dormitoriums. Okay. Wait, I have no weapons! I guess I'm running. Look at you. Ow! Man, if I die, it'll be so embarrassing because I would have said, like, give me a little bit of a challenge. I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck! The hell do you want? Leave me alone. This is getting out of hand. What, what? 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 I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. What do I do? Find a place to hide. Until what? Ah, uh, look at me, I'll hide in here. Close that door behind me. Is he gonna put it on? Gotta, you gotta. So epic. Harbored within the ring of the Lucy, Arcana encompasses three powerful spells. The first of these is death, which drains a foe's life force to restore your own. Hold B. All right. Get in here. I like that. Yeah, I do. I got myself a beautiful bottle. It's pretty cool to be able to just steal the life force from something. That's my opinion. Looks like it's connected below. Might be my ticket to the top. <laughs> Oh, but first I gotta kill you. That's fair. Let me just steal your life force. Thanks. Take. Activate the elevator. Ah. Find switches to power up doors and elevators in order to continue on to Zegnosha's Keep, where the crystal is being held. You got it, dude. Oh, where's the door? It's over here. Where did that light get turned on? What am I supposed to do? You're asking me. I don't know. I know flipping this switch turned something on, but I can't find it. 
one big puzzle, isn't it? Gotta be over here. But first, life force. It is mine. Nice. Beep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Clearly can't jump on top of that table. Good thing I investigated it, though. Now we know for sure. Take a flesh fortifier. Classic. All right. And what does that activate? Yonder? All right. I guess we go back out the way we came, which is a little bit of a journey, but we'll be okay. Excuse me, let me just steal your life force. Thanks. Moving on. Steal your life force again! Steal it! Oh, okay. Fine. This is fine. And here we come against the actual biggest problem of Final Fantasy 15. All right, where's that door? Okay, here's the door that we just opened. Waiting for a demon to jump out and scare me, cause then I'll be prepared. Waiting. Wow, there's magic in this world and we still need fire extinguishers? Pfft. Crazy. All right. A master panel. Sweet. And that's the way to the elevator taken care of. Good job. I don't know why the camera turns towards me now. Because it's like coolness factor. A spell of the Arcana Holy counters with a blast of sacred light when evading, making it effective against melee enemies. Cast the spell just before an attack lands to deal more damage. I see. So if you dodge it just the last minute, it's more effective. Okay. But if I don't, still good? I hope. Well, how do I get to that? How do I get over there? What door did I just open? This one? Yeah, I don't think I've been in here before. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, this is the way. Wait, what's through that blue door? I must know. Can I open it? Save manually at dormitories found throughout Gralia. Oh, should be safe to rest here. Okay. Good guy, Dave. Y'all are in need of an escort. Give us a holler at HQ. I like it. Did you hear him? He was about to say it's dangerous to go alone. Change route? Oh no, I don't want to change route. But I'll sleep? Replenish some each. Sleep. Uh, 
and then we'll see what happens from here. <laughs> okay, well, that sure has been done. I don't know what it got us, you know, a little extra max HP, but uh, it's been done. Any takes in this room? You know what's gonna happen if there are. I'm gonna take them. No? Okay. Moving on. A spell of the Arcana, Alterna, consigns entire hordes of enemies to the void at the cost of all MP. Right button and Y. Who's gonna remember that? Not me. I guess this counts as hordes. I mean, not really, but... Wow, my, uh, my Lucii fighting's not doing too bad. Like, I don't want to waste up my MP if I don't have to, right? Take! Got myself an elixir! I likes it. More takes! And take I shall. Okay, anything else going on here? A bucket? Okay, anything else? Just a big ol' open area with no purpose to it. Okay. Go. Oh, they're probably just waiting for you to walk in this room. A high elixir, huh? Okay. Ooh, a rare coin. I like those. All right, here we go. Were you guys that easy to dispatch? I suppose you were. All right, here I am in the elevator. Let's go! This whole city gives me the chills. And that right there is going to be the end of today's episode of Final Fantasy XV. What did you think? I must know. Please leave me a comment below. <laughs> that rhymed. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. Share it with all your friends so they can enjoy it too. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell for Strange Rebel Gaming so you don't miss the next video. It's a party every time because I always dance at the end, so that's how you know it's a party. That's all. I love you guys. Bye!